Good afternoon, everyone. This is Newt Maenge with CIE Magazine, your source for fashion and entertainment. Today, we have a very special guest. She's a celebrity tattoo artist. She's a painter. She's an entrepreneur. The list goes on and on. I'd like to welcome Kat Jackson. How are you doing, Kat? I'm doing good. How are you? Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having us. Right. Welcome to my studio. Welcome to Enigma Tattoo. This is beautiful. I love the artwork. Now, I wanted to ask you uh, the name Enigma. Is there a meaning behind that? Um, yes. Yeah, so uh, the definition of Enigma means a person or thing that is um, constantly changing or difficult to figure out. Um, but that's not where I got the name from. Um, my mom was helping me think of a name, and one of our favorite songs is actually by the old, uh, not old school, let me not throw shade, but the band Enigma. Have you heard of the band Enigma? I actually have, yeah. Yeah, so they have a song called Principles of Lust, and it's one of me and my mother's favorite songs. And if you listen to the lyrics, it just talks about doing what you feel, feel into the end, do what you want, do it until you find love. And the lyrics are basically just about just, um, and then the Latin lyrics, it actually says, take your sadness and proceed in peace or whatever. So that's one of me and my mom's jams, and it's by the band Enigma. I was with my mom when I thought about it, and that song was actually composed in 1991. So that's a little backstory behind the name. Sorry if that was long-winded. <laughs> no, not at all. That's amazing. And the thing is, because this is a passion of yours, and you have that in-depth meaning behind it, it, I just love those things because it's very inspiring. Now, I just wanted to talk about, um, obviously, you came from the Midwest, mm -hmm. coming here to, to California. You were with the uh, Black Ink crew in Chicago, and now you're doing your own thing here. How's that transition been for you? Um, you know, it's been great. As a tattoo artist, getting a TV show based off of your career is really no you know, greater platform. So it was fun while I was on it. It lasted for three years, and um, I've always just wanted to see what was next. And um, I feel like with the TV show being such a success, I felt like it kind of hit a ceiling in Chicago. So I felt like LA was the be next best thing. So me just moving out here, not knowing too many people, you know, building up my clientele from the ground. It's been a journey. It's been a struggle. There's been ups and downs, but it's been worth it. It's been two years since I moved here and now I finally opened up my shop. I finally built up my clientele here. I finally networked with the right people and I'm, I'm actually at first, I felt like I was running in a hamster wheel. You know, now I feel like I'm moving forward. So it's been a, it's been a struggle, it's been a journey, but it's finally starting to, you know, feel like it's worth it. That's amazing. And, and the thing is, that journey that you're talking about is anything worth having. I'm a big believer, a big believer of this. Anything worth having, you have to work hard for it, but you also have to take those risks. Absolutely, you gotta bet on yourself. And that's the thing, like going to um, the journey. What inspired you? before the fanfare, before the TV show, what inspired you to become a tattoo artist? Um, I, there was really no inspiration behind it. I feel like tattooing is something that found me. My mother is an artist. She uh, never did anything with it, but you know, just draw in her free time. She was more corporate. So I felt like she passed down the trait. And um, I always took art classes for my easy A just to like balance out my GPA because I was never a good student. Um, I ended up getting, I went to school for math. I was studying math at uh, University of Missouri when I got, I ordered up my first tattoo kit. And I had made friends, you know, just being my little outgoing self. And I was like, yeah, I'm a tattoo artist from Chicago. You know, my stuff gets here to my dorm. I had never did it before, but I jumped into it head first. And I don't recommend anybody start the way that I did. After a while, I, you know, became a professional by working in professional shops. But the second I did it, right there in my dorm room, practicing on my friend, I never stopped. Like, so I felt like that, you know, means it's my destiny. There was not too much thought about it. If I, with my maturity now and how old I am now, if I look back at 18 year old Katrina starting a tattoo, I'm like, don't do that. Like you can go to jail, you can get kicked out of school. But that was what God had for me. 